What is up my beautiful mates of YouTube, and you are beautiful, my name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video we're going to be looking at one of the latest vegan fragrances, Police To Be Green. But before I get into that, if you like the content I make here on YouTube, please consider hitting that big red button down below, subscribing to the channel, and also if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Both of those things help me out immensely. I've only smelled this fragrance one time before and that was back in February. I can't really remember too much about it except that it smelled similar to CK1 which is fresh, clean, citrusy. Okay, so here's the packaging. And yeah, green motion, eco-designed fragrance, consciousness into perfume. So I really admire that. I love the sort of ethos here and I'm going to be opening it up. I kind of like how plain the packaging is, like that bare cardboard look. And here's the fragrance. The police bottles are a love it or hate it affair. I kind of like this, it's like very lightly tinged green. And yeah, this should be promising, and there's a little skull here as well. I dig that. Okay then, let's have a spray. Atomizer is solid. This smells so similar to CK1, it isn't funny. However, there's one key little difference here, and that is that this is slightly sweeter. I truly think this smells excellent. I can just tell but Okay, okay, there's a little bit of difference here between CK1. It is a touch sweeter, and there is this slight baby powder note to it as well. It's very fresh, very clean. Citrus Ford, and I get a hint of like fresh apple, I'm talking like tart Granny Smith apples. And I also get that, yeah, those citrus notes front and center. Maybe a touch of clean musk, and that's what's giving this that sort of uh, clean baby powder finish. It smells pretty good, I've got to say. Um, if you are after a CK1 that is perhaps a touch more feminine, and I only say that because it's slightly sweeter with that slight baby powder note, this may be the fragrance for you. Now, I picked this up for $29 at Chemist Warehouse. However, I have seen it on sale for $19, and I would recommend it more at the $19. I just really wanted to pick up a bottle of this and give it a review, so the extra $10 doesn't really mean too much to me. Um, but if I were you, I would try and get this at the $19 price. I think $30 for this is, you know, it's almost a bit of a stretch. Having said that though, I often find that you're paying a premium on environmentally friendly and vegan products. So I'm happy to pay those premiums if it means the products that I'm using or consuming are better for the environment. It's a small price to pay. You may not be in a position where you can afford such luxuries and I completely understand that. In which case I would absolutely recommend paying the 19 instead of the 29. Yeah, to my nose this smells almost identical to CK1 except it's slightly sweeter and it has that uh, baby powder, talcum powder note to it which may be right up your alley if you're after something fresh and clean. I've got a uh, good idea that this is going to perform better than CK1 just because of that sweetness. It's not an amber sweetness, it's like I said before, that Granny Smith apple sweetness. And I do think it will perform quite a bit better than CK1. Um, I wouldn't use this as, a, as an air freshener like I do CK1 just because that's a lighter fragrance and I think it just smells better out in the open. So if you're after a fresh and clean scent, please to be green, maybe right up your alley. I think it smells great. Um, you may be a little different, but if you've ever tried please to be green before, let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.